Hello all, this is the Fanfic Critic. I am doing a commentary for episode 20 of my show. Ha 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 ha. This was an interesting episode because this is the first time I actually had someone else review a fanfic with me. Yeah, so it was quite interesting and it might have shocked some people who our special guest was. Now, this was filmed exactly on New Year's Day. I don't think this episode actually premiered until January 31st. <coughs> Right here, if you hear the sound, that's when the film buff makes his entrance. In his show, he has a different effect, and it doesn't really show me pulling him out of the closet in his show. The scenario is quite differently. In his show, it's an alternate universe where I try to kill him, and then he teleports. And in this universe, he actually reviews the fanfic with me. So it was quite interesting, and we might do a touch-up on that, but I'm not sure when we're going to do that. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing another episode with him, but we'll have to see. <coughs> So this was quite interesting. How I had to film this, I was pretty much holding my laptop in one hand, and then with him, he was holding the laptop, and, you know, I had to, like, reach over him and make it look like I had my razor up to his throat. But, yeah, a lot of fun, and <laughs> the lighting's really bad, but you gotta remember, this is all filmed on a webcam, so it's not really that great. Okay, this right here is a huge fuck-up, because I was supposed to show a scene from his show, but it didn't really work. I couldn't get it off of YouTube, so I just filmed this stupid thing with me explaining why, so yeah, this was really lame. But you know what, not much you can do, and it was funny in the long run. And then it gets back to the show. And yeah, so we get back to the review. Of course, the camera angle could be better. You can't even see him, and oh my god, my hair looks awful. This is before I got a haircut, people, so ugh. So this is how we did our review. I my sister had her bed in the room because she was spending the weekend for New Year's, so we had to... It was kind of awkward getting all the chairs in and stuff, but it was a lot of fun in the long run. Now, guys, you have to remember, a lot of fanfic critic is improv. It's not scripted, it's all improv. Of course, there are some episodes that I will refilm a couple times until I get it right, where I might say similar lines, but pretty much it's all improv. And it's a lot of fun, too. I mean, I love doing improv. I don't think it'd be the same if it was scripted. And so this is us attempting to get into the camera shot. Kind of a tight squeeze, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so first co-review with someone. I'd say it was pretty successful. About him being in my closet. Yeah, don't ask. And don't worry, people. He doesn't live in my closet. He's actually far away right now. I mean, I wouldn't mind him living in my closet, but that's probably too much information. So let's get on with the commentary. <coughs> the fanfic that we're going to be taking a look at today, or in this episode, is Running from Law Enforcement, which was the only fanfic under Christmas Story, but I looked recently and they now have two fanfics, so that was quite interesting. I don't know if I'm going to review the other one. That one looks longer anyway, and it doesn't sound as stupid as the other one was. So, how we do this review, I read one line, he reads another, or more like, they had the sentences kind of, the paragraphs kind of spaced out where you can read one and I read another. Okay, you're probably wondering why he's talking about MySpace. Well, at the time when I had filmed this episode, my show was still on MySpace. Of course, by the time I aired this episode on YouTube, that was when I decided to put all my episodes up on YouTube. You guys probably know that when I first showed up on YouTube, I was like uploading episodes like that. Now I do it like once a week. I was supposed to upload the complete first season to MySpace, but I never completed it. The last video I uploaded on MySpace was pretty much an explanation about me moving to YouTube and that was it. So this is when we actually get into the real story. Yeah. This story was... I don't know. It, it wasn't the worst story I've read, I will admit. It was kind of entertaining, but it was just one of these stories that got more and more weird as it went along. And it was probably more entertaining because two of us were reading it. And here we kind of kept on interrupting each other. I didn't mean to do that, but, you know, it's kind it, it was a bit, you know, interesting because this is the first time I've ever done a review with someone else, and I'm usually doing the reviews by myself. And, yeah, this is when my sister decides to enter the room. I originally was going to stop the video here and just refilm it, but, you know, Morgan started to get into the character and saying, Oh, who's that? And so we decided to keep it in. 
It was kind of annoying though, and a bit distracting, but yeah, my dog came into the room. You couldn't really see him, but it was still fun. Although I wanted to kill my sister afterwards, but <laughs> oh well, not much you can do. Next time I'll lock the door. The thing is, she doesn't live here permanently, so I don't normally have to worry about interruptions like that. And it just made the episode a bit more unique, I guess. And this was the first episode that actually had bloopers. Now, people, I will admit there are bloopers to other episodes. Episode 21 has a blooper reel, but I, I didn't put it up on YouTube. I might put it up on YouTube eventually, but I thought this blooper reel was a lot of fun. Because the, the episode 21 blooper reel, I think it was only like a couple clips. It was more like a different version of each scene. Oh my god, you can't even see my face. I mean, all you see is half of my head, but... Yeah, I like how both of us interacted with the bad grammar and how things made no sense. <coughs> I would love to do another co-review. I'm not sure. I mean, I'd love to do one with Morgan, but maybe someone else as well. I don't really mind. I mean, either way, it'd be a lot of fun. Not sure if I'm doing the commentary right. You gotta remember, this is the first time I've done a commentary. But, you know, it's all for fun. Yay. So, there's my sister. She's moving out. She covered herself in a blanket. And then she throws the blanket back into the room. Whoop! There it went. Interesting. And then she closes the door. And I think she comes in a little bit later, too, but you don't actually see her. And she actually shows up in the bloopers as well. So, yeah. Fun thing about this commentary is that this is the first time I'm doing the commentary, and it's a commentary on one of my favorite episodes. And this was also the season finale to season one, technically. Although I don't really have a huge grand season opening the season finale. Of course, the first episode of season one was Mrs. Lovett's Lesson by B.B. Lovett. I rewatched that episode, and yeah, I think I have improved since then, and I might have become a little more, I don't know, crazy would be too strong of a word, if you get my idea. I guess I was kind of crazy in that episode, too, but it got worse and worse. So yeah, this was the season finale, officially. I don't know if you guys who watch my show know this, but I do have a playlist for season one, and I have a playlist for season two, and I'm also probably going to put a playlist up for season three when I start filming that. I'm in the process right now of writing... Yeah, that was an interesting close-up, and I wasn't expecting Morgan to do this, but here's his close-up. Gee, many cricket. <laughs> that was funny, though. I guess you. I guess I know how you guys feel whenever I do that. Big, huge close-ups. I don't know why I do them, and sometimes after I rewatch the episode, I kind of cringe when I do it, because I don't realize how close I am until you rewatch it. It's like, oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't get so close. Oh, there's my sister again. You can't really see her. I think she just... I don't, oh, oh, there you saw her. I don't know, maybe she was getting a blanket, and then she just closes the door and Morgan looks back. <laughs> yeah, he must have had a lot of fun. Poor film buff not being used to being in the fanfic critic world. Yeah. I noticed that I make the funniest facial expressions whenever I notice an error. Okay, people, well, this is the end of part one. Tune in for the part two commentary.